Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Yotlo U82 and today we're gonna continue the Let's Speak Fanta lessons. So I have come up with the second session, which is lesson three, or I believe. If you've not watched lesson one and two, please um, click at the bottom below. I'll put a link at the bottom below so that you can watch lesson one and two. But today we're gonna go ahead with lesson three of Let's Speak Fanta. So today I have compiled some words, um, two letter words and a sentence and stuff like that that will help you in your letter of the fante. So the first word is um, I don't know. I don't know anything. So means to know or means I don't know. Bibiara is Anything, meaning bibiara. Osande means because osande. Osande miyetnim petetia because I am a very short person. Osande means because. Every day, dabiara. Every day I go to school. Dabiara meko school. Every day, debiara, dabiara, or debiara. Every day, water, insu, insu. Give me some water, mam insu. When you go to Ghana and you say mam insu, you have to add please to it. Please give me some water. Me power chow mam insu. Me power chow mam insu. Me paucho is please. Mami insu is give me water. Insu water. You are welcome. Mandasi. When you give something to somebody, a cloth, a watch, whatever gift you give to somebody, you say you are welcome. Oh mandasi. Oh monko. Mandasi is you are welcome. In your welcome can also be like um, when you come from somewhere into somebody's house, like, oh, you are welcome. But in that context, you cannot say mandasi. So in a way, you are welcome could mean two things, like you are welcome to my house, or you give me a gift and I say you are welcome, or thank you and I say you're welcome. So it will mean two different things when you say it interchange. So you can interchange it, like you can say it interchangeably, in English, but you cannot say the same meaning interchangeably in Chi. I hope you understand what I mean. For example, <clears throat> if somebody gives you a gift, you can, and the person say thank you, you can respond by saying you are welcome. In Chi, which market Medasi, you can say Medasi or Mandasi. But when somebody comes to your house and you say, oh, you're welcome to Ghana or you're welcome to my home you can say men men does say in that context it will not compile to that so you're welcome in english you can say it interchangeably but when it comes to chi or fanti you cannot it's different they say it's the meaning in different contexts um i'll do another video to explain that maybe later <clears throat> come here braha braha kweku braha Kofi, braha. So braha means come here. Bra means come. Come, bra. Ha is here. So come here. Braha. Braha. It is here. Owoha. Owoha. It is. Owoha. Ha means here. Owo is. It is here. So like. Owoha. As a corona institution no owaha, what you're looking for is here. Owaha, it is here. What you're looking for is in Ghana. As a papa wa Ghana. And now they, as a papa, when I say as a papa means good things are from Ghana. As a papa waha. So good things are in Ghana. It is here. I see. Mm-hmm. I can see the moon. Muhu shrine or muhu flowers. Muhu idia kesino suwan. Muhu nyempe bebre de wokuwo. I can see muhu. Sir, 
Somebody says, get her from the bed. Surfing, Podriano do. Get her from the bed. Surfing, Egono do. Get her from the chair. Sir means get up. Sir, get up. Come zum. Come zum. I am hungry. Come zum. Poche, come zum. I. Please, I am hungry. Come zum. The nurse word is going to be a little bit like a sentence. So I will say it in G and I'll translate it in Fanti as well. I am tired. Ma bre. Ma bre. I am tired. Ma bre. Whose is it? Whose Whose is it? Whose paper is this? Whose paper is this? Whose paper is this? Krata is paper. Letter. Paper. Krata. So whose is it? Wana ne krata. It is mine. Why you mezi? Mezi. Mezi. It is mine. E chocolatey or ya mezi. Tumantisi or ya mezi. Wachi or ya mezi. So or ya mezi, it is mine. Or ya wozi, it is yours. Wo is yours. Me is mine. Or ya wozi, ne e you so or ya mezi. It is yours. This one is yours, and this one is mine. Or ye was it yours? Or ye mizzy mine? Or ye nizzy? Third person singular, I think. Or ye nizzy? Nizzy. It is his or hers. Or ye nizzy? So, or ye mizzy mine? Or ye was it yours? Or ye nizzy? Third person singular. Hers, his, it, or your nizzy. So, um, I think I'll go on with a few words that will end this lesson for today. In you just some good news. Oh, Martin, you just some. Oh, I have heard the good news. In you just some good news. In you just some. In you just some. Jizi, nya jizi to have faith. Nya jizi to have faith. I have faith in God. Me wo jizi wo nyam kuponim. Me wo jizi wo nyamim. I have faith in God. To have faith. Jizi, jizi. Nobody knows. Obi inye. Nobody knows about tomorrow. Obi nim ochina asam. Obi nim ochina asam. Nobody knows. Echi was a. He is or he may chi was a cry. This is a taboo. Taboo means echi was a. Echi was a. Echi was a. Taboo. Echi was a. A busi opinion, family head. A busi opinion, family head. My dad is the a busi opinion. My dad is the family head of my family. A busi opinion. My papa ye a busi opinion. My dad is the family head in my family. So I think I will end here, and then I will come back again with their more lessons. I really are. I really appreciate everybody who has subscribed and those who have not subscribed please like click the button below and subscribe and please let me know what you would like me to come up with the lessons after I, I have another video that I'm coming up with which is the body part in front teaching you guys how the body part in front please leave a comment down below what you would like to see in my next video and what if any um, concerns or any question please leave them in the comments below and i'll be able to reply to them and um, get this going i will really really admire the fact that a lot of people are willing to learn the language especially those who are Ghanaians abroad or Ghanaians i am in ghana right now and when i came to ghana a lot of Ghanaians here are 
speaking English and me, I want my child to start speaking Fanti and people are speaking English. And I'm like, I have a child. I met a child who was born and raised in Ghana and cannot even speak Chi. I was so surprised. I was so surprised. And here we are, people in abroad, we are tr trying our very best to speak the Chi, to learn how to speak the Chi, which is very, very important. Because when you come to Ghana, you'll be able to express yourself <clears throat> and then you will not feel left out because you are in your country and you cannot speak your language. It's very frustrating when it happens that way. So by the way, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching again. Bye.